What's up everybody? This is Bianca here at Seek 2019 with my friend Pamela Minix. I'm from Young Catholic Professionals. I'm a Director of Advancement. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're just going to dive into some questions here. So, so Pam, when I tell you, or when I ask you this question, aside from Christ or, or the church, when I say love, what's the first thing that you think of? Sacrifice. Well, okay. Um, now, who in your life have you experienced this, this authentic love that, that we're talking about? My husband. Um, he is one of the most, if not the most, unselfish person I know. Um, he is just so Christ-like. Um, fun fact is that he actually is converting right now uh, to Catholicism. So when I met him and I had brought him home to my father, I was a cradle Catholic, um, He, my father had said to me, well, he's not Catholic. And I, and I said to him, I literally looked at him without even hesitation, I said, David, he's literally more Catholic than a lot of Catholic men I know. Um, and that's just because he is just such an unselfish human being, would give anybody the shirt off his back. Sounds like a great man. Um, so, do you think that our culture today understands this authentic love that, that obviously you and your husband experience or that we even talk about in the church? And and if if not, then what does the culture tell us love is? I think that our culture is confused. I think there's a lot of definitions and perceptions that are thrown at us. Um, I think that, um, especially with the whole like secular movement and, and not having God as the focus or center, um, really affects and distorts what love is um, and, and I think that it's really I mean love started with God <laughs> it's our faith so if you don't have a great understanding of that then how can you portray that to someone else beautiful beautiful okay and final question if you were to encounter a random person on the street and they were to say Pam what is authentic love what would you tell them Authentic love would be sacrificing your desires, wants, and needs for the needs of someone else and always putting uh, them first and their wants and needs first. Um, I think that is the true definition of love. I don't think that you can have one without the other. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Absolutely. That Thank was you. awesome. Thank you.